it took me a lot of courage to leave dance and decide to go be a police officer it really took me a lot of courage so this is why i'm bringing i, I really wanted to go back and talk about it because it, it's a whole story hi guys welcome back to my channel it's Isi here so today we're going to talk about my dance career, my dance life, my dance everything, it used to be a big part of my life and it took me so much courage to leave it and decide to be a police officer. So guys, I want you to listen to it and <laughs> my god, I we're going to do this video in two segments, I'm going to react on my dance videos and then I'm going to react on my, then I'm going to talk about that story of which made what made me become a dancer and what really made me quit and become a police officer so welcome if you're new here subscribe we are almost there guys get me to five hundred guys you really need to see you really need to see how i used to dance before so physically fit before the night is over students and books and I decided um, I, and every time I was there I would see people dancing and I really had a passion for it and I wanted to try I just learned it's an ability I didn't know I had the talent but I wanted to see if I could <laughs> dance and that's when I used to follow I literally used to follow Arthur Chiruba the dancer around so that you can show me one or two moves i used to be associated I, I used to feel good when i used to be associated with him so arthur chiluba is one of the biggest dance teachers and dance artists in kenya right now and he had a long time coming and he is he has taught lots and lots of dance Kenya and he's still doing it and I'm really grateful to him because he took me the way I am and decided to teach me dance especially I had two, le two left feet I never knew how to be sexy I never knew how to be like to dance like a lady I was a hard type wow, I used to hit things I used to do uh, I used to try to be like the man I used my dance style was very rough so Chiluba tried to um, Try to teach me the first things about dance, try to do everything, try to fix me, try to, yeah, he literally did everything. He used to spend a lot of time in that hall. I don't remember the place quite, but it was around um, Jogoro. Yes, I remember Jogoro, Makongen, somewhere like that. There was a hall there that he usually trains in, and I, I really, I really wished I'd be one of them. And he actually took me in and decided to do me dance. So after that, I started doing shows, of which there weren't being enough. Come up with the tools because they said, Oh, you're a new dancer, you need exposure, and that's when it all began. I started doing shows, I joined a crew that uh, I tried to join a crew that was um, in Kayole. I remember that. So, this crew involved my very, very good friend still now, Daniel um, Ken, who is a fashion Daniel, who is. A videographer and a photographer. I don't know why most dancers either were Macarao or were videographers. Either the two. I don't know why, but yeah, so it happened that way. So Daniel, uh, Daniel is my very good friend. Daniel Kisaka. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so Daniel Kisaka is a videographer and a photographer. I'm going to link the description. I'm going to link the names and the accounts in my description and Daniel took me in as just a fresh dancer and we used to train in Kayole that's where they used to stay with the brothers Ken, Sam, Abna, they used to have a group I don't remember the name but yeah they used 
grew up and put their students together and that's when they started. They tried taking me to shows, they tried and I used to follow them. Literally, you know how a dancer starts. You follow people around so that you can learn the tricks of the show, you can learn how much people are going to, uh, are going to get paid. You learn about things, you know, the, the way people dress because I swear dancers have the biggest, I mean the biggest <laughs> the biggest competition in this world. Let's see who dance by Kepia Kubawa. So I started in, uh, after Chiluka taught me a while, I joined um, Akina Ken and Akina Dan and we started dancing few shows here and there. We started doing road shows, which were very good. I have pictures I'm going to link with you. So here's one picture that we did with Dan. We were on a Dawanol road show. <laughs> I don't have the videos, but I think I have some of them. I think I remember some of the people who we used to work with, like in a bruise. Yeah, so uh, the Kisaka family have been a really big impact to me while dancing because eh, how was it when you to Mali? I did not know so many things, but when I joined them, they taught me how to dress, how dancers behave, where dancers should stay, how dancers should behave, and I'm really grateful to them too. So after that, I went back to school because I used to do uni them. I used to do mass communication. So, so I went back to school and I did mass communication. And when I when I was there, I met another group. Um, excessive Kenya has been my family for a long time. I really take deep um, deep thought when I talk about them because they are family that made me grow too. That was the official dance crew I used to be. But they had a way of dancing that used to be called lyrical that I was not good at. You know me, I'm, I was a badass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I did not know the impact of everything until I I joined the crew. They used to be, they used to do, I was a good dancer. I was the only girl of which made me feel yeah yeah i am the only girl in the building <laughs> so yeah so i used to do that and it was amazing that i joined them they used to train in the moro so i used to i used to pay fair to go for rehearsals in Liburu almost every single day it was a bad idea but those guys were like my family i dated one of the guys so yes <laughs> <laughs> so they were my family and they are a part of my life that I would never ever ever want to lose so there, there were five members before I left and I'm going to say one by character because I think I really know them so first is Mashir you see the name his name was Ian Quaich is Ian Quaich they're in Mombasa right now but Yes, so Ian Koetch is a machine, literally a machine. So you know what I'm talking about. Go, 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 go. Machine. <laughs> yes. Ian Koetch was the head of that group. He used to think that group. By then he was in high school, but every time he used to come home, he used to teach us dance. And then number two, there's Chumia, there's the musical part of it yeah he used to be really good at dancing there is um steve there was what's the name of them again there was benna benna used to be my best friend i remember i miss you so much benna yeah it's been a long time so uh the limuru journey came i found a very established uh dance crew when i was in limuru and it was really 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 established like they really knew how to dance, so I really needed to catch up. I went from Nairobi to Limuru almost a single day for, for practice, and that's one thing that showed how determined and how dedicated I was. So we went to Sakata, Sakata up to semi-finals, and just when I was in Sakata, I couldn't participate in some of the shows because, see, you know, I did not know the lyrical part of it, but Dancer Joan, no, the judge, I'm sorry. So the dancer struck Judge Joan saw us. We went for an audition and we did her video, her music video, and decided to make us part of her dance crew. And 
Um, it was one of my biggest dreams to work with such a person, director Joan, um, judge Joan, that is, and it was good. I did Sakata shows, we did our shows together in Sakata, we went to events together, and it, it was a good paying job, yes, so that's when I knew how dance really pays, it was amazing, trust me guys, it was amazing, I really, really loved that experience, and in the for what Kichwa was now, I started doing corporate events, I started going out, I started dancing in major places. Um, um, after that, I met a friend, a friend that we used to study in uni. His name is Gassizo. Gassizo, Gaspar. <laughs> Gaspar Gassizo, right now, he's doing Wololo TV with Oga Obina and the rest of his crew. They're doing a, quite a good job, I'm gonna link their names in the description so that you can go watch their videos. Gaspar has always uh, has been a big part of my dance to you a very 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 big part because after I after I finished uni he was there and I had no job no one would employ me because you know ni Kenya so I decided to go and do and I decided to reach out and ask people to at least know Nitafanyaji ki dance because he was teaching Laser Hill and African Azorean University so I went and approached him and he said, my dear, come, let's work together. Imagine someone just taking you in. So I went and stayed with them and I, that's when I started teaching him. We used to go to Makole and I'm a show, Sikwanajua, that um, drama festival is a lot of work and uh, Let's say Lilikwana's idea because I'm still going to live for that time until I got my own school to teach. But yeah, we used to work together and it was a really, really good thing because in the Fungwa Kili, you can even work with your Mangoma, you can even work with your Mangoma, you can even work with your Mangoma. I went to school and it accepted me. That's kind of a township. I went back home and got a school and really did a good job. So after um, 2017, we did um, the drama festival, they were only taking number one and we were number two. So I felt really discouraged because of that and I decided since I have no money, I, I want to do something else. And yeah, the opportunity came in, I decided to go try out for the administration police and voila, I was picked. And yeah. That's basically it. So I want to give a shout out to Chiluba Arthur. Thank you for teaching me my first dance steps and always being who you are in dance number two. Akina Kisaka, the Kisaka family who are doing good right now because I have a Nikona Nikitaka Guo, Nikona Neke, Nikitaka Photography, Nikona Da, Nikitaka Evi, Nikona Akina Abna. I have all those and then I have um I want to say thank you to K K of FBI who always mentors young dancers, young lady dancers. Um I want to thank the FBI crew they took me into we did a video together. Not all of the FBI, but Shakers and FBI. I forgot cut it. So yeah, I wanna give thanks to all those. To Judge Joan, I want to thank Davila. Davila, we, we did a show together. They took me into we did a show together, and most importantly, I want to thank Exercise Crew for being there with me. I wish I could go back to those ages and do some dance moves like the way I used to. <laughs> thank you, guys. Um, I really appreciate the fact that you took me in and decided yes, we're going to work with her and. You, you, you took me as your family and finally Casillo of Wololo TV, I am really grateful to you, Akina Kenrich, those little babies I used to teach, I, I am really, really happy that I did that. Thank you, 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 you are amazing. So guys, uh, that's my story, it wasn't supposed to be a long one, but that, that really felt like a family. My dance life is something that I have never even woken up from. It's a dream that I 
can't believe I let it go because I was dance. I used to love dancing a lot. And I would really like it if I go back, but there are so many pros and cons about this service. I don't know if they will like it. I'm not supposed to go viral, you know. Mm -hmm. It's gonna bring problems, so. Yeah, so that's my dance story. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And I want to thank everyone who made this journey come true. I'm going to talk about the journey of me being a police officer. But that's for another day, so thank you guys for listening. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So let's do the reaction video later. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys.